You look really excited right now. I'm excited. Is it because I'm here? Yeah. Or is it just the dry ice? It's, it's all of it. So, if you've seen any kind of Halloween movies whatsoever, you've probably seen the movie Hocus Pocus. Right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Somebody likes Hocus Pocus. And this is my wife, Kayla, if you don't know. Hi. Um, not usually in front of the camera. But don't drink nearly as much as I do, so that would be why. Yeah. And I'm an idiot, so. This drink is really just a sugary mayhem. It's meant for the look. If you've ever seen the movie Hocus Pocus, you'll know that there is a potion that allows them to suck the life out of kids. Children. Children. And really, you know, doesn't life just suck the life out of children eventually anyways? You know, it's called adulthood. But um, they had a potion for it. And it was this bright green potion. And um, yeah, that's what the look we're going for today. And I'm reviving something from the 90s for this. Jones's Soda. I used to drink it all the time as a kid. Yeah, absolutely. This is green apple soda. And it's worth noting, um, I got this at Walmart. But if you're not into uh, Jones's soda and you just want to use like a Mountain Dew or something to be boring, be my guest. I'm pulling out some of the 90s here, some nostalgia to go along with my Hocus Pocus cocktail. And also, I'm pulling out some dry ice. And um, I do want to note the dry ice that's going to happen in this is optional. And I made a video on how to handle it safely, so don't freaking get you know, scalded by the cold ice and then get pissed because you didn't watch the video. It's in the description. So you're going to try this. I am. I'm excited. You're going to try this. What are we making? What's you're it gonna, called? You're going to tell me it's good no matter what. Am I? Yeah. There was no question mark at the end of that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I should have to like it if I don't like it. Anyways, it is called the Life Potion Cocktail. Ooh. And it's based on that, that same, you know, clip. And I got this really cool glass to put it in because this looks a lot like the one in the movie. I have a question. That they put it in. What is that? Are we going to bring the neighborhood children and suck the life out of them? I don't want no kids here. <laughs> I don't want no kids here. And actually, you know what? If, if the Sanderson sisters had made this instead of their other potion, they would have made the first ever recorded cocktail. But they didn't, so now, now we're making this. So this one's actually pretty simple to put together. Uh, we're gonna start off with the first thing, it's rum. And uh, yeah, so you got it. Might first not, batch of Mason Dixon. Might not drink a lot, but you know, you can, you know the difference between rum and vodka. This is a white rum. If you wanted to use a vodka or something, you know, you could be my guest as well. And I would be totally cool with that. This is going to be two ounce pour of rum into the shaker tin. That's the first thing. Second thing is going to help give us that green color is the uh, sour apple pucker. And I pause because I cannot say it right if I try and say it quick. Sour apple pucker? Sour apple pucker. I did it. A little quicker. No. <laughs> and this is going to be an ounce. So an ounce of sour apple pucker. And it's just going to be, if you would put some ice cubes in this, regular ice. Okay, so there's ice in here, just regular ice, not dry ice, and we're going to give this a quick shake. I haven't hit anybody with it yet. I haven't hit anybody with it yet. <laughs> Alright, so normally I would just strain it into a glass. This, I think, you're probably going to need a funnel for. And once again, I'm just going to strain that off. And 
And you might notice it's not super green. It's okay. That's what the soda's for, the Joneses. I did not know they still sold these. I was just in the soda aisle at Walmart looking around, come across it. So that is They're the stuff. Nostalgia's great. Everybody loves nostalgia and uh, 90s. I'm going to let that bubble down a little bit. I'm going to pour a little more in there. Okay. I don't know if it's going to fizz over when I uh, add the dry ice. I get to do the fun stuff. Yeah, and uh, if you were lazy and didn't watch the safety video, never touch this crap with your bare hands. This stuff's extremely cold extremely cold and never consume it wait till it evaporates before you actually drink the drink <laughs> that's cool hopefully don't overflow it. but this is how you make the life potion um, from the hocus pocus movies and i think it is going to bubble over there's just enough for one more child or adult over 21 I think we're good as far as it's fully evaporated and it is just cold. One word of advice, the smaller chunks, the better, nice thin little pieces. You can buy dry ice in pellets. It's probably a good way to go. That's what I should have done. Is it smelling green apple? Yeah, mostly the rum. Uh, that rum in particular is a molasses based rum, so I definitely get a lot of that smell. So how is it? It's better. It's uh, not bad. I don't know. A lot of molasses from the rum. So obviously the rum you're going to use. It's going to make a big difference. It's not as sour as I thought it would be. It's not as sweet as I thought it would be either. Um, you can try it. No, I have to act like I like it, right? Yeah, I don't think you're going to, but you can try it. Smile on my face. <laughs> I would use a different rum. Yeah, that's the only white rum I have right now. Uh, but that's why I used it. But I'm not an idiot's liquor either, so. So that is the Life Potion cocktail from Hocus Pocus. If you're interested in some more Halloween drinks, there's going to be something that pops up over my face that uh, is a playlist that will take you to all of my Halloween cocktails that I've done in the past. If you want to see more, you can also click on the subscribe button down below and the bell icon. You'll get notified when I post new videos. Until sure. next time, have a hauntingly good Halloween. That's right. And remember that if this idiot can do it, then so can you. Cheers. <laughs>